Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're tackling something that a lot of you probably didn't know Capture One can do, and that is the ability to change the color of a particular object. I'm gonna show you how we do it. I have a picture here of a, a bee that's landing on a flower, but I think it'd be fun to change the color of the flower. Why not? Let's have some fun. And what I need to do first is I need to mask the area that includes what I want to change. So I'm going to create a new empty adjustment layer. I'm gonna grab the magic brush and I'm gonna come around and kind of squiggle and I want to mask all of these uh, kind of pinks and oranges. And of course it might take me a little second here, but we're gonna go ahead and add all of this in. And of course I could take a little bit more time and really refine my selections. But for purposes of this video, we're gonna call that pretty good. So let's say that this is the area and I want to change the color of this particular object. I'm going to come to the color editor and come to the skin tone portion of the color editor. Grab the color selector and I'm going to grab a color from the range that I am using. And please note, I'm inside of the masked area. I'm now going to take the a range of colors that are uh, usable and I'm just going to broaden those out and spin them around and make pretty much the entirety of the flower uh, or the entire of the color wheel accessible. And I'm going to drag the hue slider up. The hue uniformity means that I'm going to make all selected color regions more similar to the picked point, all right? So around the inside of this color region that I have made, and I'm going to make them more similar to the picked point. How similar? Well, this is a percentage slider. I'm gonna make it 76% more similar. Okay, and now all I'm gonna do is grab the point I selected, I'm just gonna move it. Let's say I wanted a blue flower, I could do that. Or I could come over here, make it more magenta, I could make it aqua, I could make it yellow. Whatever I want it to do. And if I move this hue all the way up, then it's going to entirely become this color. Now we can see the regions that I didn't get perfectly when I masked the layer, so I might want to add on to those, but I would be able to adjust this color in whatever way I see fit. Of course, it's not realistic looking uh, in this particular case, but I could do this to change the color of a car. I could do this uh, to be able to, be, to change the color of a shirt that somebody's wearing. And I can do it in small or subtle ways and since it is a layer I could take the opacity slider and bring down the amount of the change so that it blends a little bit better anyway that's what I've got for you today thanks for watching I'll see you next time